Time to make deviled egg sandwich. This is something I like to make because you can have it in the fridge and make the snack whenever you want. So I'm going to go to the fridge and grab some eggs. All right, Igorinos. Got my clothes this. So we're gonna need egg, mayo. Um, I don't have mayo, but I'm going to use this dressing. It, I think it's like salad dressing. But it definitely has mayonnaise in it. It's going to have a little tangy taste. Mm. But yeah, I've been using this. So it's going to have a little tangy taste. It's not that bad. But I would recommend mayo. And I think there's... The Jean. This is the star of the show. Um, I like to put a little pepper. I would say paprika is really good. I don't think we have paprika here, but I would recommend putting a little paprika, a little chili flakes, if you want a little bit spicy. Um, so for eggs, this is how I usually calculate. It's two eggs per a person or per sandwich, because you don't want to be like making less. That's like the worst thing. Hey, Hanzo, what's up? Hey. So I'm probably going to make all these eggs. I'm going to boil them. And then we're going to grab the pot. Boop, boop, doo -doo. You can put it on like warm, medium, whatever you want. I usually like to fill it all the way up. Hopefully this is enough. Yep. We're going to set this over here. I'm going to put it on I like seven for now. Make it boil. I like to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Okay. And then hmm, I think I'm going to grab I think this is is Fitlock pulver. Is that <coughs> onion or garlic? Okay. I'm going to get this garlic powder. I love garlic. Ground pepper. These are like my go-to. And then, like I said, paprika if you want a little kick. We're going to put all the eggs into the pan. I'm going to time this for 10 minutes. I think we're going to need a little bit more water because the eggs are like Floating a little above. All right, let's go get the water. Add a little bit more water. I love this cup. I got it at Asta in the UK. Okay. Might not even need that much. Okay, that's all we need. We need a bowl to mix all our ingredients in. So I like to have less bowls, less things to clean up. And we're going to start with the honey, Dij I mean honey. We're going to start with the Dijon mustard. Alrighty. Now I'm going to add a spoonful. And I would like to say that you should really test out how much ratio you like. So I would say start out a spoonful like I did. And then I would add equal parts or half part. Depends how much you want to dilute the Dijon taste. And you also have to keep in mind how much eggs you have. Obviously, if you did two, you would have to do a lot less. Alright, that was my mayo substitute. And sometimes I would like to put a little honey. If you need a little sweetness... I'm going to taste this. I know with mayo, some people like to put Dijon, mayo, and lemon. A little lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. But I don't think with the tangy from the... This looks like Thousand Island. With that, you don't need it. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more because that was a little bit too much for me. Let's try it again. 
and if I'm liking this mixture more, I'm going to add a bit of the garlic powder to taste. I love garlic powder, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to put pepper. Mix it up. And I have my timer set on my phone for the eggs to boil for 10 minutes. And I think it's really important to test your, or test, taste, taste your food because if you need to adjust the way, mm, I like it. You need to adjust it. If you don't taste your food and you go to your outcome, you're just like, what happened? What happened? So it's easier to save yourself when, as you're testing out everything, if possible. All right, we're going to wait for the eggs to boil. I'm going to put two slices of bread to toast because we're going to make one. Woo, excited. It's on fire. It's lit. There's like a minute left to go for the eggs. I love having deviled egg sandwich because I grew up with this. Hey, yeah, did you want some? <laughs> So the 10 minutes are up, we're going to turn this off, and then we're going to take it, pour it out, be careful, be careful, and then we're going to make sure we have cold water running, because you want to cool off these eggs, and it's a lot more easier to peel them when they're cold, I think it just makes it and contract and expand and it looks like it's happening already so let's hope that we can cool these off like I'm sure it's probably a lot better if you have like ice to make it cold fast but so we gotta turn it out this way because I forgot to do it the other way we're gonna let it run a little bit and hopefully these eggs get cold really fast I think we have enough time to crack these babies open. I don't do these well at all, so hopefully I don't mess up. Oh, I already messed up. This is the not-so-fun part, and then you put it into your mixture here. Okay, I'm going to toss it over here. I'm going to leave it off here. I'm going to clean it up anyway. Okay, let's hope that we can get this other side done better and I know some people like to cut up their eggs on the topping board but I I like to just smush them in the, the bowl and make it chunky oh we're doing it I like to dip it back in the water it makes me think that it's gonna help you peel the eggs better Oof. Oh my god, they're coming off like a dream. You have no idea. Sometimes I make, um, <laughs> make, I mean, I peel the eggs pretty badly because I didn't cool them long enough or I cracked them weird. So, my bad. Okay, gonna wash it off a little bit. Then you put it over here. Bonk. Okay, we got little cracks on this. Hopefully this will be alright. I'm gonna find like a really good entry point. So far so good. Are you guys good at boiling eggs and then peeling them? I'm not gonna lie, this is like so good. I'm so glad it's peeling off like a dream. Well, now that we know this is happening, I'm super happy, and I will cut back when we've peeled all the eggs, so you guys don't have to watch me peel eggs forever. A big reason why I like putting the eggs on the countertop, because it's so easy to clean up. You just sweep it away into the trash can, and then you just spray, wash, dry the counters off. Anyway, so, <laughs> stabby stabby. Break the eggs. 
And again, I know some people like more sauce, some people don't like. I like in between. And it's more of a guesstimating game, so you have to be able to eyeball it. And it depends how much chunky or you want it mashed up. But it's important to like just swirl around, give it some smush. I'm not sure where this dish or this originally comes from. I think it could be American. I love deviled eggs. Deviled eggs is basically a boiled egg. You cut the egg in half so it splits kind of like an avocado open in half really nicely. And then you take the yolk out. You do what I did except with obviously with mayo or if you want if you only have salad dressing like Thousand Island or something similar to it you can use that because it has a base of mayo in it <laughs> and uh, you mush the yolks together like like some very similar to this and then you fill it back into the egg it's really weird but I like making egg salad because it's quick and easy and then I think I'm gonna add um, I'm going to add a bit of lettuce to my sandwich so here's the sandwich I'm gonna get the lettuce so our toasted bread and we're gonna use the crisp salat crispy salat you are free to add more to this uh, the deviled egg mixture or you can add more lettuce I think I just want a little bit and then we take our mixture and we put it on. And be generous. Super generous. I'm going to put a little bit more. <laughs> Make sure it's spread evenly. This probably sounds going to be like, that's a lot. No, I like it like that. Like it like that, and that's how it looks like. I'll show you guys how it looks like from the side. Ooh la la, egg sandwich. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na. What I love doing is I always make enough for leftovers. I always make enough for leftovers because sometimes you just don't have time to always take out time to cook. So instead, why don't you? Take out time to cook that one day and you cook several different things and put it in the fridge so you can just microwave them really quick. Easy clap. All you have to do is just toast some bread and you can use this. You can you can eat this as a side dish as well if you wanted to. And then you just store it in the fridge and that's it. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna cut this in half. I like cutting it in half like this because my mom usually cuts my sandwiches when I was a kid this way so I'm used to cutting it this way let's see how it looks did I cut it all the way through? no yeah I put it back here we leave it here hopefully we make it really pretty but this keeps sliding down. Oh no. Alright. You guys can see it from the side. Oof. Yummy. If you guys enjoyed this, I'm going to take a bite out of it. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Let me know if you try this recipe out and tell me how it tastes or if you've ever had doubled egg sandwich before. Bye!